Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about uh, meaning, example, qualitative and quantitative nature of comparative static analysis. We will also see what is the rate of uh, change and how to drive formula of rate of change in comparative static analysis. So what do you mean by comparative static analysis? As we know in our economy, equilibrium change due to change in exogenous variable or any parameter. In our economy, equilibrium change due to change in uh, exogenous variable or any parameter. And comparative static analysis basically do comparison between initial equilibrium and uh, final equilibrium or you can say that uh, new equilibrium. Comparative static analysis mainly do comparison between uh, initial equilibrium and new equilibrium which change due to change in uh, exogenous variable or any parameter. This is aggregate demand which is dependent variable. Dependent variable also known as endogenous variable. And aggregate demand depend on consumption, investment and government expenditure. That's why consumption, investment and government expenditure are independent variable. Independent variable also known as exogenous variable. And uh, beta, beta 1, beta 2 are parameter. Obviously, aggregate demand will change uh, if uh, exogenous variable change or any of a parameter uh, change. For example, our initial equilibrium is E, where aggregate demand is equal to aggregate uh, uh, supply. Now, suppose any of uh, exogenous variable change or parameter change, that's why our aggregate demand shift from AD to AD1. This is our new equilibrium. And comparative static analysis basically do comparison between initial equilibrium and new equilibrium which change due to change in exogenous variable or any parameter. Now we will see qualitative and quantitative nature of comparative static analysis. Qualitative nature just tell us direction of change such as increase or decrease. Qualitative nature just tell us direction of change such as increase or decrease. That means it just tell us endogenous variable increase or decrease due to change in exogenous variable. For example, it just tell us demand increase due to fall in price or demand fall due to increase in price. Just tell us direction of change. But quantitative nature describe change in terms of number. Quantitative nature describe change in terms of number. For example, when price increase from 500 to 600, then demand decrease from 1200 to 1000. Here you can see change is described in terms of number. That's why it will be called a quantitative comparative static analysis. Now we'll see rate of change. Rate of change explain how much endogenous variable change due to change in exogenous variable. Endogenous variable, dependent variable, exogenous variable, independent variable. That means rate of change explain how much dependent variable change due to change in independent variable. Here our dependent variable y, independent variable x. That's why y is a function of x because value of y depend on x. This is our equation. If we put a 1 in place of x, then y will become equal to 30. If we put 2 in place of x, then y will become equal to 60. If we put 3 in place of x, then y will become equal to 90. Here you can see one unit change in x will lead to three unit change in y. We are changing x by one unit, but y is changing by three unit. Y is becoming from 13 to 16, 16 to 90. That means one unit change in x will lead to three, three unit change in y. We can represent uh, rate of change like this, delta y over delta x. Delta y change in y, delta x change in x. Change in y is 3 and change in x is 1. It will become equal to 3. So our rate of change is 3. So we can say that rate of change explain how much dependent variable change due to change in independent variable. Rate of change is measured by difference uh, quotient. We will clearly understand what is difference uh, quotient and how to drive formula of rate of uh, change. As we know, a change in x is equal to x1 minus x0. That means we can calculate change in x when we minus uh, original value from new value. 
here delta x is change in x x1 is new or you can say the final value of x x node is original or you can say the initial value of x when you minus initial value from new value it will become equal to change in x delta x represent change in x suppose new value is 5 and original value is 3 this difference is equal to 2 2 will be called change in x similar you can calculate change in y delta y change in y y1 is a new or you can say the final value of y y note is initial value of y as we know delta x is equal to x1 minus x note but we need value of x1 that's why x note will come in this side and x1 will become equal to x note plus delta x if x change from x note to x1 then y will also change from function of x note to function of x1 earlier y was uh, function of x0 but now y1 is function of x1 this is a uh, original value of uh, y and this is a uh, new value of y and we can calculate a change in y when we minus original value from uh, new value and this is a uh, original value that's why in place of y naught we put this and this is new value that's why in place of y1 we put this we have already calculated value of x1 x1 equal to x naught plus uh, change in x that's why in place of x1 we will put uh, this uh, value so uh, this uh, variable become equal to delta y i mean this represent our delta y as we know rate of change is equal to delta y over delta x and this is our delta y and this is delta x as we know delta x is equal to x1 minus x naught so in place of delta x we can also write x1 minus x naught and this represent difference uh, quotient and difference quotient mainly shows uh, average rate of change in y due to change in x so this is all about today's video i think you got it thank you so much for watching this video bye take care